Have you ever wondered how some agents start with their business and don't have a lot of production and other agents just absolutely kill it and start doing deals right away? Today I'm with Brittany Berry. She's one of my team members for Morrison Group Tahoe. She's gonna talk to us within the first, almost just over a year of production. She's closed over 25 deals, has made over $200,000 of income. Brittany, welcome. Tell us, Thank how did you. you do it? Well, if it weren't for Christy, <laughs> <laughs> and all of her killer leads, um, all of her training, and just her support throughout this entire year, um, I would have nearly half the gist. Yeah, well tell us, because we have actually gone through a considerable evolution over this last year. And I would say, number the first thing that we probably did that really started to turn on the transaction flow and help with your conversion was number one was really um, getting our pipeline organized. So we would we have tons of leads that come in at all times, but it's how do you know what the good ones are versus the ones that aren't ready to do anything, right? Right. So tell us a little bit about what that process looks like now. Um, just figuring out who the right buyers are mm -hmm. and the buyers that are going to buy right now and those that you just need to set aside for maybe a couple of months because you know they're not ready to move forward and write an offer and get the sales done. And we've been working on a back end system called our independent sales agents. So we have now people calling in, your, in the background and uh, taking your leads that maybe are three to six months out or six months or more, and then pushing them to the front and telling you, oh, hey, Brittany, they're ready now. And so now you're in this position where you have 10 people, usually at all times, that are ready to do something within 30 days. So how great is it that you just focus on the people that want to do something now? And then we do have some great leads that come in that want to buy. <laughs> one and done. One and done. We love those, right? And tell us a little bit about like what it's like being on a team and why you chose to be on a team versus just going out on your own. Um, I like the support of the team. Uh, you have Michelle, who helps with all of our listings, Avery, who basically does all of our transactions and more. Um, and just having that support when you have any questions. And um, if I was just in I would probably have done just a couple of deals. <laughs> right? And I also remember the thing that really kicked you off because you were like consistently doing one or two, you know, each month. And then all of a sudden, like something flipped. And um, so, to, what do you, I think it was probably in August. And maybe that's when like your follow up and stuff was starting to actually uh, pay off, right? Because sometimes it takes longer for people to decide. But I think also, tell us a little bit about like, the scripting and the skills and the way that you talk to people. Did you notice anything different throughout the summer? Yeah, completely. Um, just being more confident and having your system down yeah. and just knowing you know, uh, what to focus on mm -hmm. really was super beneficial and I was just getting to deal and deal. All your deals were coming together finally, right? Yeah, and like knowing what to say I think is one of the things that can give you like ultimate especially in a listing uh, presentation as well when talking to sellers. So yeah, next year, more listing. Yes, absolutely. Cool. So what would you say to anyone that is um, thinking about either joining a team or going independent? Well, I definitely say you should join our team. <laughs> <laughs> um, we need more buyers agents. We have tons of leads and you're going to make so much more money working <laughs> Absolutely. Good. So tell us a little bit about what you're going to focus on for 2022 uh, and, and how you're going to, if at all, increase your sales, either increase your sales or become more efficient and effective. What do you, what do you think for 2022? I'm going to go with Yes, good. Um, definitely get more listing agreement signs, yes. um, but also just potentially double what I did this year. Oh, great. In production? So, yeah. Oh, great. I love that. <laughs> Hello, 50 deals. You're Ricky Berry. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Well, Brittany, 
you, thank you so much for uh, talking with us on the camera. And again, uh, always feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions at all. This is just a little sneak peek of what Brittany did to make over 200,000, close 25 deals in just over her first year of business here on the team.